Let's use the web views in Flutter to display local web pages with local HTML, CSS and JavaScript in your Flutter app. We will also learn how to clear the cache and cookies of our web view and how to use a back button to navigate back within our web pages. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's start by loading a simple web page into our Flutter app. Therefore, we will make use of this web view Flutter package. Simply create within your build method a web view which comes from this package. And here inside, we want to enable first of all JavaScript. And secondly, you could supply here the initial URL that you want to display inside of your web view. And now after we hot restart, we see then here this URL inside of our Flutter application. However, we don't want to use here this initial URL because we want to load a website from our local storage. Therefore, we want to create here first of all our controller. And with this controller, we can then control here this web view. And we simply want to save this controller then inside of our state so that we can later use it. And secondly, we want to go inside of our on web view created. And here inside, we can then basically load our local HTML file. Therefore, let's create here this load local HTML method. And here inside, we also load then a URL. And this URL is then basically here a local URL. So we define here the type that it is HTML. And now we need to define here also the HTML itself that we want to display here on the right side in our web view. And therefore you can simply create here a string and inside of the string you put then simply the syntax of your HTML document inside. And now after your hot restart, you will see here then this local web page. And this is exactly what we have defined here on the left side. So I've created here basically some headers that are now here displayed on the right side. And by the way, to make everything here work with this web view, you also need to go to your pub spec JAML file. And here under your dependencies, you need to include then this web view Flutter package. And secondly, you also need to go inside of your Android app folder here inside of the build Gradle file and make sure that you put the min SDK version to at least 20. After this, you can stop your application and install it again. And then you should also see here the local file loaded inside of our web view that you have defined here within this string. Next, we want to load our HTML file from our assets folder. And therefore, I simply go inside of this load local HTML method. And here we can then also reference a file inside of our assets folder, in this case, an HTML file. And now we simply use here then this loaded HTML and based on it, we create then this URL that we want to display here on the right side. And with this, you could also go here up and remove here this HTML because right now we loaded then from our index HTML file. And therefore you also need to create here this assets folder in your Flutter project. And here I have created this index HTML file. And then I have basically added here the HTML syntax inside of this file. And to make this work, you also need to go inside of your pubspec YAML file. And here inside under this Flutter tag, you also need to include then here the assets folder that you have integrated here before with this index.html file. And also install your Flutter application again on your device. And with this, we have now here loaded our HTML file from this assets folder. And therefore we also display here, for example, this image, which is here displayed on the bottom and only three headers and a button, which you also see here on the right side. Next to our local HTML file, we also want to display CSS and JavaScript files. To do this, you simply go inside of your pubspec JAML file. And here we want to replace then our current package with this plus package. And finally, you can go back to your main file and here inside we can simply uncomment here this load local HTML because this time with this plugin, you can simply use the initial URL property and here you can then reference your assets folder. And lastly, you also need to rename here your web view to the web view plus widget and also the controller has here then the web view plus name instead. However, in general, all the functionality is the same, only the name can be sometimes different. So we have here the plus at the end. And now if we hot restart our application, we get here first of all the error that our web page is not available. And therefore to make this work, also make sure to add here these configurations for Android and iOS. 
And then after you have reinstalled your application, you should see here your website that we have defined here over this initial URL property. And now the great thing is that we can go inside of our index.html file and here we can also include then first of all here the style CSS file. So this is another file which I have created. And the same way you could also include here then this JavaScript. So I have also created here the script JavaScript here also inside of a new file. Let's also call here this submit function if we click here on the submit button and therefore I go to my index HTML file and here we have then this button which is displayed on the right side and basically if we click on the submit button then we want to call here the submit method that is inside of this JavaScript file. And now if I hot restart my application, first of all, the background is changing. And this is because I have also changed here the background color to orange over this CSS file. And secondly, we also can click here then on the submit button and then he will simply change here the background color to red. So let's try it out. I click on the submit button and you see that our background is changing to this red color. Next, we want to communicate between Flutter and JavaScript. And to do this, you can simply go to your web view and here you can then create your JavaScript channel. And secondly, you can also create here many channels inside. So we want to create here one channel with the name JavaScript channel. And now we can make use of this JavaScript channel. Therefore, we go inside of our script file. And here inside, you can then basically call exactly the same name that you have defined before. And here on it, you call then every time the post message method. And inside of it, you can then send some string to your Flutter app. So in this case, we send from our JavaScript this hello world from JavaScript. And now we want to access this string inside of our Flutter app. And therefore, you also have here this on message received where you can then receive the message that we have sent from JavaScript. And we simply want to print it to the console so we can access here this message over this message property, which is basically a string. And secondly, we also can, for example, create here a dialogue. And I want to put here then also this string inside. Let's also try it out. So if I click on the submit button, our background color is changing. And we also show here then the dialogue and this is basically a Flutter dialogue which shows then here the text that we have sent from our JavaScript file. So here we display then the dialogue with the message that we have basically received from our JavaScript file. And secondly, if we now click here on this OK button, then we want to send some message back to JavaScript from Flutter. And therefore we simply create here this OK function. And this is what we want to call every time if we press on this OK button. And then we basically want to set here the background color again back to orange. Therefore, let's go simply inside of our main file. And here after we have then showed our dialogue, we also want to call then here this evaluate JavaScript method. And with this, we can basically run here this OK method or function that we have put here inside of this file. Let's also try it again out. So I click on the submit button. We show then the Flutter dialog on top of our web view. And now if I click on this OK button, then you see we are turning again back to the background color orange. And this is because this OK functionality is changing again the background color to orange. And with this, you have now learned how you can send messages from JavaScript to Flutter and also how you can send messages from Flutter to JavaScript. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.